Paula, thank you for joining me. I'm so excited to have this conversation with you about living pain free um, till the end is the way I'm languaging it. I don't know if that's how you're languaging it. Well, it wouldn't that, I mean, that would be the dream, right? People have different dreams. I, I saw uh, a doctor recently on TikTok who said, you know, people, you, you think about what regrets people have. And as a doctor, the, the regret that he hears the most is, oh, I wish I had started eating and moving better years ago because yeah. um, I'm miserable now. And people don't realize how long 15, 20, 25 years of discomfort mm. can be, right? I think we all want to live those later years feeling good still and not going to more and more doctor's appointments and more and more medications, et cetera. And I feel like that's the kind of thing that you help with. Well, and I think too, as one musician to another, the body likes rhythm. Mm. And mm -hmm. one thing I loved as I got into the program of eating it in the way that you're mm -hmm. recommending is that it was rhythmical. There were times that I eat and then there are times that I don't eat. I wasn't just snacking yeah. all day long, yeah. right? So I eat and it wasn't like I was using willpower to keep myself out right. of the kitchen. It was like, I got what I needed during right. that so that I wasn't having a sugar crash. I wasn't hungry. I was just able to not think about food and go do other things. Yeah. And what I find with, with working with the body is it's very nice to do things rhythmically. And so I have been getting out in the morning for a half hour. I, I get up mm -hmm. and I go to the bathroom and I drink some water. And then I go for about a half hour walk in the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And then I come back and have breakfast. And I usually I try to go for about a 10 minute walk after every meal. And mm -hmm. just wow, be nice. And then some days I don't go for a walk because timing, the weather, whatever. But then it's easy to get back in because I'm just sort of in the rhythm of going for a walk in the morning. Mm. So you can be yes. playing a piece of music and hit a regular beat and then have a measure or two where you don't. And then you just come right back in with that. Right. Yeah. And so if you have something in you kept going in that rhythm. And so even though I might have a day or two where I don't go for a walk in the morning, the third day I might wake up and say, oh, right, I feel like going for my morning walk. And it doesn't yeah. have to be, uh, I didn't do it the last couple of days. Yeah. It's just, oh, today I'm ready to get back into that rhythm again and, and go for my yeah. walk. It makes me think that a lot of that uh, frustrated, oh, shoot, I got to do something healthy now energy is it's not a normal human energy it's something that's happening in our current environment because we're not eating well we're not moving well and we just don't feel like we want to do anything we just feel like everything's irritating you only need force when it's inefficient what you're trying to do oh yeah and you're only going to need willpower when you don't have the ability to do something in a light easy skillful way oh that's so good and yeah. so for me, when I go for a walk, I'm not interested in counting my steps. I'm not interested in counting the minutes. I'm not interested in my mm -hmm. heart rate. I'm interested in the quality of my walk. Do I have a nice springy mm -hmm. gait? And mm -hmm. if the quality of my gait is good, then it's a pleasure to be out walking. Mm -hmm. I have a kind of loop in the neighborhood that I usually do that takes me about half an hour. But if I get interested in something and slow down, I don't get disappointed that I didn't, you know, beat the stopwatch back. Um, I, right. I don't, um, I'm, I'm interested in what's the quality of my movement uh -huh. out. And if the quality is good, it's actually enjoyable to be out doing yes, it. That, and it makes me think it's such a feminine energy, you know, instead of doing exercise or eating in some kind of competitive, I got to win this game kind of way. It's like, how do I live the richest life for as long as possible? Um, yeah, we got to reclaim that. I love it. You have any I, other uh, closing words about I just how people say can pain free? So much about no pain, no gain, and you got to push yourself. Yeah. And especially for women who are maybe menopause or older, which I include myself in now too, um, Doing exercise that raises your cortisol levels is not going to set you up for anything good. And so mm -hmm. going for a nice moderate walk might be better for you than high intensity interval mm -hmm. training. Uh, so notice when you, it's absolutely fine to try different things, but notice when you try something, you know, does it give you a sense of being alive and delighted or does it give you a sense of oh I hate this and now I need to recover right 
How much of your life do you want to spend doing things that you hate? And, and it's the same with eating. Can I eat in a way that makes me feel alive and delighted? Well, that was what I found when I, when I was eating with your program. And then I would go out occasionally for a lunch and I felt like, well, that, that restaurant meal just stole my peace of mind all afternoon. All that I could think about was how I wanted to eat something or, yeah. or it's, it's cravings off, going. It set off cravings for something. I was like, you know what? I much prefer an eating plan that lets me enjoy my meal and then have peace of mind in between meals and not, not yeah. be fighting cravings. How crazy yeah. is that? I love so, it. I, I just encourage folks, I, when the pandemic first started, I, I switched from teaching in person and walking around rooms and being up and down to mm -hmm. being in front of a computer. And it was exhausting and tiring and my, uh, I was uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And so then I reconfigured my workstation and now I don't get tired working at my computer. Aww. And so there are ways that you can work even with the devices of the modern yeah. day that are still respectful of your own body, your own tissues, your mm. own nervous system, so that you're not wearing yourself out. Yeah. Uh, I'd encourage you to play with variations, to look for those. With those is a goal, right? What you're yeah. looking for. And if you'd like some help, pain-free workday is um, free, free sampler yeah. of activities. And the Love Your Hips workshop is coming up September 9th and 10th. And I'll get you a link for that as well. Yeah. Is there an easy link to tell people to go to artofmovingwell.com? Artofmovingwell.com slash workshops. Is, okay. It's the page where that is. And, and then I'll put the link that goes right into the registration page too. Yeah. Because some people might watch this three months from now. Yeah. And so the workshops page will be getting updated. So if yeah, they watch keep... it three months from now, it might not be the hips workshop. I've got one for the neck and shoulders and one for the low right. back, one for the knees. But if you go to that artofmovingwell.com slash workshops, that will help you find what's the current workshop. Yay. And if people wanted to ask, how can I work with you? They could go to artofmovingwell.com. Yes. And there's a, a, there are buttons on several of the pages to schedule a free 20 minute coffee, chat over oh, coffee that we can just. I so recommend it. Yes. So it is called a chat with Charlie and me. So we will, um, we will be happy to hear about what's going on with you and, uh, and see what we can recommend, um, which might or might not be my services. It might, might be that you need to talk to Ginny or you right. might, you know, maybe it's a book or, or somebody else, but, um, but we'll be happy to listen to you and, um, and see what, what we see from our position on the outside yeah. of your jar, what might be a yes. good next step for you. I love it. Thank you so much for your time today and sharing your expertise. I love that it's, it feels like it's not going to be hard. It's going to be actually energizing. And, and that can start right away, right? Right like away. First domino. Are you yeah. like, things can keep improving, but as long as you're not pushing the first domino over into a way right. of stress and tension and fatigue, then, then things can, things can get better. Yes. Right absolutely. away. You can you can start feeling improvements right away. Right away. Yeah.